Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner and founder of Houston Window Experts, and I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video today. Today, by popular request, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Anderson Windows product line. You've probably heard of Anderson Windows, you've heard of Pella Windows. Today, we're gonna to focus a little bit on Anderson and some of their offerings. Now, we're in our beautiful showroom located here on West 38th Street in Houston, between Shepherd and Yale. Uh, call for an appointment, we'd love to give you a tour, but you know, we carry 20 brands of windows and doors to choose from. Uh, this is a, a Marvin window, for example. This is Pella, you've heard of Pella windows, no doubt. Uh, Geldwin, Windsor, and today the focus is gonna be on, on Anderson. Specifically, I wanna focus on two Anderson products that have a lot of similarities, but there are some differences. But I wanna give you a little overview of the entire product line. So Anderson uses letters and numbers both, which gets a little bit confusing. So let's start with the numbers. They have a 100 series, a 200 series, a 400, I don't know where the 300 went. And then from there they have letters. They have the E series and they have the A series. So um, there are some differences between them. There are some similarities between them. And what I love about the Anderson family of products is that Anderson, can allow you to use, say, uh, a 400 series on one part of your house and then use the 100 series in another part of the house where you wanna save a little bit of money but you want a similar look from the curb uh, of your house. So that's really cool. And that's what working with an authorized contractor like we are is very helpful because we understand which products work with what and where you can place what in the house to still achieve your goals, the look you want, the quality you're after, the same glass, but maybe even save some money by doing some budgeting uh, with the different products. So speaking of that, yes, we actually are the only uh, accredited contractor for Anderson Windows and Doors in the city of Houston, Texas. Uh, so we do install their entire product line. Now you may have heard of a company called Renewal by Anderson. You probably get these big flyers. You probably see a lot of TV commercials. That's a different branch of Anderson. Anderson has two branches. They have the in-home uh, people who come out to your house and they, they sell that one product exclusively. And then they have dealers like us who sell their full line of products. I like to use the example of GM. GM has what? Cadillac, Chevrolet, GMC, uh, what Buick's now part of theirs, uh, well, it has been forever. Whereas, uh, and we're like that, right? We're like, we can sell the full line. Whereas if you go to a Chevy dealer and all they can sell is a Chevy, they can't go get you the GMC because that's the GMC guys thing. A little confusing, it's how they chose to go to market and we see a lot of window companies doing that. But in our case, we actually probably are better serving our clients because we sell the entire product line of the Anderson product uh, series. And we're an accredited dealer for them, which means that we are trained by them to come out to your home and, and know how to properly install uh, the windows. So if you buy a window from us versus someone else, we're actually doing it the way Anderson wants it done. So when you say I need windows for my house, whether you're building a new house or you're remodeling the house you have, and Anderson comes to mind, let me show you what some of your options are and what you're getting out of different windows. I'm gonna start with this 400 series. Now I told you there was a 100, 200, 400, right? That's in the numbers. So 100 is made out of, completely made out of Fibrex. I'll show that to you in just a minute, but we're gonna start here. The, the 200 is virtually identical to the 400, but they do not make custom sizes. So if, say you were building a house, you could order the 200, which saves you a little bit of money, because those are all standard size windows. But if you have a house that's already has windows in it and you need to fit in new windows, you're almost always gonna have to go to custom size because even if they were standard sizes when the house was built, as the brick and stuff was laid around or the stucco wasn't matched up to the house, it's no longer the same opening now, okay? So there are occasions where we do find a few windows that are standard, but in almost every case when it comes to a replacement project, you're gonna have to go to the 400 series or a product that offers custom sizes. And believe it or not, the 100 series offers custom sizes. So we'll talk about that. The 200 doesn't. So the 200 and 400 in your mind, put them together and say it's the same window, but one's built for new construction and the other one's built for remodel projects or changing out windows. So the outside of the 400 series is made by Anderson's proprietary product called Fibrex. And maybe someday we'll do a, a tour of the plant and I'll show you how Fibrex is made. It's really cool stuff. It's actually 40% wood component and then 60% secret ingredients that they don't tell you too much about. 
But it's, it's their answer to uh, vinyl, if you want to say that. They're going to get mad if they watch that video if I say that. Because it's not vinyl. It's stronger than vinyl. It's uh, more durable than vinyl, and the finishes are, are much thicker. In fact, the finish on this is 15 times thicker than the finish on painted vinyl. So it's going to last a really long time. But this, this, if you could touch it and feel it, I wish you could somehow, it does feel slippery, a little more like, like a plasticky sort of surface would be. Uh, from the curb, no, it doesn't, you know, and this comes in, in um, a total of uh, seven different exterior colors. So there's a lot of great colors to pick from, and one of them happens to be, you know, a black color, really dark color, which is real popular right now. The, the options on this for grids are great. You know, you have these grids that are actually on the surface, so they look like true old school windows do. They also have the grids that go just between a glass, so you don't have a grid on the surface to clean. But this looks more authentic and it looks more realistic. And this actually comes in a total of four different grid options. Now let's go to the inside of the window here for just a minute. Let me get this one out of the way. And on the inside of the window, what you can see that, you know, right away you, you probably love is that Anderson look, right? I mean, this is like, this is like from the Midwest wood window type look and construction that you see back in the Midwest and the East Coast, and then it all swept through here. And now we, you know, we love this too. It looks great. Real wood dividing lights on the inside. So this is actually made from real wood, just like the outside. It's not simulated between the glass. It's truly there. It looks really cool. Now the hardware, I just put the basic hardware here right now. This is just white. But this hardware comes in several different options, and it comes in 10 hardware finishes, so you can get different, different finishes. You can do with or without this uh, lift rail, and I have different options. I have like a little finger pull. So, you know, choices, choices, choices. Sometimes it's hard to decide. And this window operates a little stiff, you know? And actually, that's not a complaint. Um, it means that the window's actually built really tight that the construction's well done, that the weather stripping's doing its job. It's job. When I, when I hear it, make that sound. Hope you heard it. It's, it's telling me that everything's working, that everything's built tight. Look at that. I just push that forward, okay? And then I can get that window to tilt out. Why is it important? Well, let's say this window broke and you had to replace it, right, because the glass broke or whatever. Then we don't have to come out and swap out the whole window. We just come out and we actually swap out just that part. Um, you'll notice, too, that the top does the same thing. There's some little clips up here, and I can tilt the top in. So this is what they call a double-hung window, meaning that the top and the bottom both operate. Now, if you've watched my videos about double-hung versus single-hung, and if you haven't, you should. It's a really good video. Um, you'll, you'll find that my understanding and my experience shows me that I like single-hung better than double-hung, and I, I think there's great reasons, and I think you would like it, too. This, this particular model, the 400 series, actually comes with a single hung or a double hung option. So I would probably recommend a single hung in most cases, unless it's say the second floor and you wanted to be able to tilt this in for cleaning a window or something along those lines. Uh, the unit, when you close the lock, latches into place, very simple. It's, it's very um, easy to do and it works very well. Uh, this window actually exceeds the standards for forced entry that are required by the state of California. California has the highest standards for forced entry and this exceeds it uh, considerably. So it helps keep people from coming into your house. It's, it's very well built, very well constructed. This actually comes in eighth inch increments. So when we go to measure the window, right, we don't wanna get a window, let's say you need a, a, let's say you need a 35 and seven eighths. We don't have to go to like a 40 and then like, you know, chisel your opening. That wouldn't be good for your house. But we don't have to go to a 35 or a 35 and three quarter. We want 35 and seven eighths. In this case, you, with eighth inch increments, what's really cool about that is you can actually get the window exactly the size you need. Now on the inside, they have four wood species available, pine being the most affordable option. And, but you can get different wood species if you wanted something that was a little more you know, elegant in that regard. Also kind of cool to notice, you can't see it, but inside here they have an option, we have to order it from the factory, where it actually has your alarm contact sensor built in wirelessly. And it'll last several years on a battery. It's accessible from the outside like this, from the inside by removing this cover. But instead of having those like alarms sticking on the surface of your window or drilling a hole in the bottom of the window, which don't do, that'll void your warranty if you drill a hole in this window, um, you can actually have the alarms built in. That's kind of cool because it connects with almost every major brand. If you've got Brinks or ADT or some of those guys, um, it works, works well for that. So, wood inside, 
Five bricks outside, okay? Seven colors to pick from. Nice grid options. Comes in options all the way up to nearly eight feet tall on this double hung. And it comes in just about every shape and size you can imagine. So, you know, the radius windows, the picture windows, the casement windows, the awning windows, the sliding windows, and they have doors that are designed and paired to work uh, with this as well. Whether it's new construction or whether it's uh, re replace and remodel, the 200, 400 series are gonna fit the bill for you there. And of course, you've got the Anderson brand name for resale. Think about that. When you go to sell your house, you say, oh yeah, we replaced our windows with Anderson windows. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be really awesome for, for resale. I really like that about it. Okay, so now 400 series. Let's go to the E-Series. E-Series is like the granddaddy of this. It is the top of the line product made by Anderson. And the E-Series, the first thing you notice if you were here right away, is that the outside is not that Fibrex that we discussed. The outside is actually an aluminum clad exterior. Is that better? Yes, it's better. Um, why is it better? Well, the reason aluminum clad exteriors are better is because the way they can do the finish on this stuff is incredible. This is a 2604 uh, standard finish and they make a 2605. Google that, you'll enjoy that. It's too boring to discuss here. But you can get some incredible finishes on this stuff that will look great for, for years and years and years and years to come. I mean, the finish is gonna outlast your mortgage, okay? So they're, they're just beautiful. And guess what, instead of having seven colors, 57 colors, 57 colors. Uh, 50 of them are, are colors, the other seven are anodized finishes, you know, where it actually has an anodized process onto the aluminum, and that's something you can't get out of Fibrex, obviously. And then they have one more option, which is custom. <laughs> So yeah, there's a setup fee and it costs a little more money per window, but if you had to match a certain look or your, or your designer's working with you, your architect's working with you and you need a custom color, this is available in custom options. Now remember we talked about the grids on the outside of this, that they had four options? Well, on this one they have 10. So with 10 options, there's even more variety to find the design you want. They actually have two-tone exteriors, right? So if I said I wanted, let's say I wanted black on the sash and I wanted white, on the frame, right? Then that's gonna give me like a real narrow black look with a white, uh, white trim next to it so I can make this look a little more contemporary if that's what I wanna do. Awesome to have all those colors and choices. Remember on the inside we talked about that one has four wood options. This one actually has a total of uh, 10 wood options instead of four so you get even more choices there. And then of course the grids are, are wood on the inside like they are wood on the other one. This is also a wood product like the other one is. And if you notice here, the hardware is actually even a little bit more streamlined. It's a little bit cleaner. I like to call this more transitional and I call that more traditional because this is kind of between your traditional look and a contemporary look. Uh, same thing, operates well, but yeah, you feel that resistance there. Uh, this same way you push in forward to tilt this. This does not come in a single hung, by the way. It only comes in double hung. And I explained that on the single hung, double hung window video, so you might want to check that one out. Um, the glass is going to be the same in both units. You can actually get the alarm built in also uh, in this unit, right, built into the hardware, just like you can in the, in the 400 series. And one other advantage to this one that you don't get over the 400 series is that the E-series can uh, be used in a coastal climate. They actually have a coastal impact rated Product. So let's say you lived in Galveston or somewhere where you had to meet certain coastal impact ratings, then that's not going to be available to you in the 200 or the 400, the 100. It's only going to be available to you in the, in the E-series. And by the way, those of you who wonder why do they go to letters, E-series, it's because this actually used to be a window called Eagle. Um, Anderson was losing a lot of business to Eagle windows because Eagle makes such a terrific product that they did what any smart company would do. They bought them. <laughs> so when they bought them, they didn't want to keep the name Eagle, right? That was a little confusing. So they just called it the E-Series. Uh, worth pointing while we're talking about it, they also make what's called an A-Series. And A-Series is kind of a step between these two, so there's no real reason to use it. Um, the A-Series is basically this window because the exterior on it is the Fibrex instead of the aluminum. And it comes in, in just a few more colors and it has a few more wood options. It's almost, I think, probably something that Anderson probably sells very little of. But it used to be their flagship. So it was 100, 200, who knows where 300 went, 
400, and then it was A series, and now they put the E in there, and the E is actually their very top of the line product. So walk with me over here. It's, it's located in a different area because it's not part of our wood window category, which by the way, we have uh, 20 brands of windows and doors. I may have to mention it. And so you may not like Anderson or it may not work for you, but come in and take a look and we'll show you some other stuff as well. So look, here's the, uh, here's the Anderson 100 series. It's not quite as uh, attractive. It is more flat. You can see the different seams uh, in places, how the fit and finish is. But this would be a great option because it does come in some of the same colors as the 400 series or the E series. This would be a great option for the back of the house, for upstairs around the sides. So let's say, for example, you have a house in uh, River Oaks or Westview or Bel Air, places where we tend to see wood windows in homes. Um, you could use the E series for the most important part of the house because it's going to cost more. So let's say in the front living room, you've got this great big beautiful window because they'll make bigger sizes by the way in e-series than it will in the 400. you may have to use e-series there but then we could use 400 maybe in the in the in the kitchen we'd use 400 in the study 400 in the den or the formal dining room or something else and then we can go to the 100 series upstairs around the side in the back of the house or the maids quarters or somewhere else because if you use the same outside finish it'll it'll have the same glass right because we're going to use the same glass on all the products and, and you can use even the same alarm system. You can get the alarm built into this one. But this one's just going to be Fibrex on the outside and Fibrex on the inside. So you're not going to get the tilting feature. You're not going to get the double hung feature. You're not going to get a lot of color options. You're not going to get any wood at all on the inside of this. But you can get you know, an Anderson product that matches the other Anderson products, at least from the outside, to complete your entire package. Um, what are the disadvantages to buying from Anderson? Well, Anderson has great brand recognition and therefore they charge a little more money for their products, right? You could buy similar products from other manufacturers for about 10 to 20% less money. And in some cases they're better products, in some cases they're lesser products. But there are other options out there where you could save some money and maybe that's the negative to Anderson is you are going to pay a little bit more money for an Anderson than you would uh, a non-brand name product. So uh, what do you think? Which of these windows did you like? Let's say you were rebuilding your house today. Where would you use the 200? Where would you use the 400? Where would you use the E-Series? Where would you use the 100? Let's see if you've been paying attention. Answer some of those questions below in the comments. Tell me what color window you think you would like to have. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notifications when we make a new video. Uh, we offer turnkey services from coming out to your house to evaluate, showing you samples, measuring, giving you pricing, and we don't push, we don't have pushy salesmen. Gosh, I hate pushy salesmen. It's like, to me, if I go somewhere and a guy's pushy, I'll just leave, right? And I also don't like uninformed salespeople. If I know more about the product I'm trying to buy than they know, and I'm like, what do I need you for? So we're knowledgeable, we're product specialists, we don't push, we're not we're not salespeople, we're product specialists to help you understand stuff. We do full turnkey installs using our own in-house crews. I actually are employees, not subcontractors. We stand behind our work. We're a great company to do business with. I'd sure love the idea of talking to you about it some more. So give us a call. And if you're watching this on our website, there's a form there to the right. You should be able to complete that form. Uh, get in touch with us. We wanna see how we can help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.